Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream where we basically do kind of whatever I want on Thursdays. Um, starting at 6.30, going for about two hours. Ah, oh, Jane, I'm so glad we have a new exclamation Jane. So if you haven't tried that, please check it out. And uh, congratulations, Jane, on getting the first today. <laughs> uh, lucky for you, uh, the, the ping on Discord was messed up. So I think that's why the Katie yet and i know kendra was um was busy she is in the car right now right yet but um very very happy that jane was able to get first this time <laughs> all right y'all um so first before we get started on the stream i want to do a little shout out so um soda who was also a streamer uh adopted one of the kittens he had adopted little midnight um, and, uh, and he came in, got the little kitten and is raising it now. And, uh, as y'all know, because of the situation with those cats and they didn't, we didn't get a chance to take them to the vet or anything. So it was like no adoption fee, just please, you know, love them and take care of them and take them to the vet. But, uh, he couldn't handle that. So he got me something off my wish list. So, uh, he gave me a little note. So a little gratitude for all you've done for the kitties and myself from, and I crossed out the name so y'all can't see that, but here's a little note right here focus there we go um and uh and he got me a capture card so what that means is that when the switch pros come out all you have to get for sure so i can be streaming some switch games because right now i have a light so i can't but if i got like a for real switch then i could definitely stream some switch games um we have a switch at our house but it's my husband so i don't want to stream with it because I don't want to be doing that and like a switch game comes out that he wants to play you know and we have to coordinate that it would just be too much of a hassle so it makes more sense that when the pros come out we get a pro and then we kind of reorganize from there the switches yeah so i'm excited about that so at some point in the future i will be streaming some switch games we'll see uh when that happens it's gonna be a little bit still because there's still some more stuff that has to work out but i got step one right i got step one for that so <laughs> Ah, uh, Jane, I'm so excited that you're excited. I need it too. Um, I did it, I did it. Me six on the Discord server is not working right. I'm so sorry, guys. So all the stream ping people got double pinged. I because me six decided to do the ping like a whole um eight minutes after I went live. So I thought it wasn't gonna work. Anyway, so we're gonna do a little shout shout out for soda. Soda drink at. No, what's going on? This is definitely. There we go. Okay, y'all need to all go follow Soda. He's a good streamer. He's cool. He's chill. If you like my content, if you like nice chilled content, you'll probably like his. So, um, I gave him a shout out. So go give him a follow. Okie dokie. With all that being said, let's get into some Final Fantasy. Oh, thank you, Jane. Hey, Lunar, welcome. All right, Ooh, that's a little too loud. There we go. All right, so as y'all know, where we were last time, we were inside the dome. So we're gonna finish that up and kind of move to the next part of Xanarkand today. There we go. All right, Jane and Lunar, how have you guys been doing today? I hope you had something good for dinner. We had some chicken drumsticks and some salad. <clears throat> it was pretty good. What did y'all have? Did y'all have something good? French fries. <laughs> Lunar, I love me some french fries. You know what I'm saying? French fries is one of the reasons that um, no matter what, I could never go like totally carb free because like sometimes I just have to eat some french fries and that's just how that is, you know what I'm saying? So we're just sipping white claws for dinner. Oh, I love me a white claw now. I love me a white claw. Oh, uh, thank you for going for Orin. There. Get Titus in here and provoke you. We can use the same method on him that we used on him when he was a boss. Then he won't do that stupid haymaker thing. All right, come Yuna and heal up Orin. 
recipe, I love me some french fries. It's like one of the foods that I think I could never ever in a majillion years give up, no matter what. What's going on in Final Fantasy? I feel like blacked out into last week. <laughs> were you here for the last stream, Jane? Or were you just lurking? Or I'm trying to remember because I don't want to give more than what's necessary. You have to go on a diabetic diet? Oh, I'm so sorry, Lunar. You can still have them sometimes though, right? You just have to watch it. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're doing a power break. No, I didn't do one yet. We're doing armor break first. Yeah, I know, Lunar loves pizza. Every time I think about pizza, I think of Lunar. You lurked? Okay. So, basically what we learned is that um, we have we have to go kill Unaleska. Um, that's, the, that's the way. What she wants us to do instead is, uh, is she's going to change one of the Guardians into the final Aeon, and that's how we're going to fight sin but um but we don't really want to do that so as we're walking along here basically role play wise um the party's trying to figure out like what the hell do they do about this um because if they get rid of unaleska then they still have to go figure out how to defeat sin afterwards so she is now kind of the next um battle that they are facing <clears throat> trying to get things under control since it's still really early so it's not horrible I totally understand what you're saying. Totally understand what you're saying. But yeah, if you can keep it under control, then you can still have pizza sometimes, you know? It's not forever. It's just like kind of, um, you can't have it so often, right? And you have to monitor. You do have it. But I'm sorry that you're going through that. I, I have hopes that you can get it under control and everything can be okay. I think you can. I know it's possible. Um, if it's the type two anyway. Um, I don't know anything about type 1, so if it was that, then I apologize for what I said. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, I feel like he needs a heal. Get him a heal. And these, even though these, like, these battles are annoying, I don't want to skip any of them because, you know, I want all the, as many points on my sphere grid as I can get. <clears throat> All right. Katie, welcome. Ah. Hey, Broska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine. I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you... die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. You're hiding from dinner. Katie, what does that mean? I think I fixed the bot. I just had to go turn it off and turn it back on again. I think that's it. Oh, dang it. Okay. Just trying to go down there. I think there's a quest down. I don't want to miss it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Level 3 key sphere. Hell yeah. It's the end. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to the end of the game today. I mean, we won't beat it, but we'll get to basically the end of the story. Um, and we'll kind of be, if, if everything times right, we'll be on the precipice of like everything opening up. And then we'll have a chance in the game to go do all of the side quests and, uh, and things like that. So that's where I'm hoping to get to this stream. But we'll see. We'll see if that happens, but that's the plan. Oh no! She was not supposed to die. Lulu, come revive her. Could a big family get together? Oh wow. Um, my condolences. 
I mean, sometimes those are fun, but a lot of times, exhausting. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> uh, that's how it is a lot of times for me. You know. Oh, good job. Good job dodging there. Why would they come on straight today? Right? They should have planned around that. Like, who does that? As if is it somebody yeah. on stream day? Ew. <laughs> so for those of y'all that missed um, the Saturday stream, we kept two of the kittens. So I will let y'all know if they come in here. However, I don't think they will. They were in here, but they were tearing everything up. Um, they were climbing this back here, this curtain back here, and messing with the lights. So, um, I basically had, like, uh, uh, gave them to Jeff and said, entertain these things <laughs> while I stream. <laughs> so we'll see if they come and, uh, and visit us. But probably not. They'll probably, he'll probably play with them and then they will go to sleep. Because they're kittens, so they have two speeds, um, 11, and passed out. <laughs> and that's it. They don't have any other speed. And this is um this is kind of a wild ride for me because I am not used to having um kittens. I usually adopt adult animals, so I just don't know as much about this. Oh my gosh, Jane, thank you so much for using your prime for me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, they got fancy moves, fancy moves, and be able to kick me right out the party. They can, like, those kicking ones, the one I killed already, it can eliminate your party members. If you remember that back when we were in Bavel, we fought those. That was the first time we fought those. <clears throat> I bet I know. I bet it's how Jane dances. Oh. <laughs> Jane would have a cool dance like that. I believe it. They go. Oren and Braska inject. They were here ten years before us. I do have footwork emphasis when I dance. Oh, Katie, you were right. Are the trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. I'm glad Braska stopped to save. It's good to save your game. Alright, we're gonna do this fear grid and then save as well. <clears throat> and I gotta arrange my party. If I say it, then I'll remember. I have a particular arrangement I want. Now we've got a level key sphere, we're gonna backtrack and try to get double cap. Her -her. Got to, or what are you doing? Gotta move it, move it. <laughs> That's right. Dancing with no footwork looks really silly. The only place that is acceptable is when you're doing TikTok dances. There's certain TikTok dances where I've seen people doing a lot of like para para with the arms and stuff, you know, in their chairs. That's acceptable. Alrighty, let's go in. Another Cloister of Trials, y'all. This one actually is pretty easy once you know how to do it. Like, it basically tells you what to do. So this is like our little tutorial, right? So we need to find all of those little Tetris blocks. And you can see 
Down here, there's these little white dots of the different blocks. So like here, I'll step on this one. You can see it lights up and matches that red one right there. Um, this wow! One is wow! Kendra, you made it! And you have not missed anything yet. So happy to have you here. This is yellow. There we go. Puzzle solved. We always miss Kendra. When she's not able to be here at the beginning of the Thursdays. Oh my god, why does the bot keep breaking? Oh wait, there is no Kendra command. That's right. Oh, isn't that... <laughs> Jane's gonna make one for you, right? That's, that's what's happening. Okay, so we pushed that pedestal in, and now we have to do a similar puzzle in the big room. We're gonna go in here and do basically the same thing. Alright, so I need... There. And I need... Yeah, yeah. Here. And here. Okay, now I need some green one. I think the other one should... Okay, be careful not to step on any of the white things I don't want. Is that right? Oh, I'm glad you trust Jane with your brand. Okay, cool. Well, Jane can do the exclamation Kendra command then. Alright, so that's one down. Let's go push in another pedestal. Cock feathers. Are you making some of the, the festival um, thingies? DIYs? Hello. Red's up here, we know we. And basically, if you fail this, I'm, it, like if you step on the wrong one or whatever, it just makes you start over. Oh, wait. That's the wrong green one. Other green. Down here. Oh, and we need this red one too, it looks like. Alright, now we need a blue one that's laying down, and a blue one laying down in the other. This one right here is going to be this one. Now you see those two spheres on the side there, where you can mess up this puzzle is if you come in here and you take those spheres out before doing this little push-in pedestal part that I'm doing right now, um, that's really, then that screws you up. We're going to mess with those spheres later. First you have to do all of this with the pedestals and pushing in. Um, Kendra, I cannot actually tell you not to be petty right now, um, considering, you know, all the BS you went through today. So, go be petty. Go forth. Sometimes you got to do it, you know what I'm saying? Lots of little red ones on this one. And here. <laughs> be pretty, be petty, eat chocolate spaghetti. <laughs> oh, what? Chocolate spaghetti just makes me think of the spaghetti and elf. <laughs> I feel like there's a YouTube video or something where someone actually like tried to make the spaghetti from elf. Sounds like the most disgusting thing in the entire world, actually. I would never eat that. But um, it would amuse me if somebody else would. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh no, Jane. In this house, we don't go to Olive Garden. We go to Carabas. So, she came to the wrong Carabas. Sorry. 
Although I don't think they do it anymore. My my order at the Carabas was always like the, the three chickens, the three different kind of chickens. And um, it was really hard to finish it all. So you get to take a piece of chicken home and some sides usually. Man, that thing is so good. Carabas used to be my favorite. It's really good. What happened? Did you have a bad Carabas experience? Uh, I, I like Carabas. I've had some good time. I've actually never been to an Olive Garden. Oh. Um, I've never been to an Olive Garden that I like. <laughs> uh, they're not, they're not my thing. Oh, oh, I understand. Because of the celiac. Never mind. Yeah, rip. Maybe someday when you're feeling adventurous and like, you know, it's okay to take a break for the rest of the day or something. We can have some parabas or something. Alright, last two. Instead of pushing in the pedestals, we're gonna get these guys right here. Yes, I want that. Do I have to get this one first? Yeah, okay, I guess I have to get the one first. <clears throat> and it all goes dark. But that's okay. We don't need no lights. Put that here. We'll put the other sphere in the other one. That will light up the last one. Oh, it kills your intestines. Well, we definitely don't want killed intestines or cancer, so... I only knew one other person ever that was, like, really badly celiac. Oh, so sorry! So sorry. Well, you can have the lobster. It's not the ravioli part. Maybe you can have, like, lobster with the ravioli sauce or something. Disco version of the him, and everything goes crazy now. We're actually gonna change our formation up. I wanna put here this heat. Okay, and wow, let's save. Yeah, the room got totally spoopy. Okay, so what's about to happen, y'all? Let's go find out. Why is the room spoopy all of a sudden? Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so this guy is Spectral Keeper. He's really, really annoying. Um, here's how you beat him. You get- you stand in a triangle with a space in between because he does this, like, slashy attack and he'll get all three of your characters and you do not want that. And normally I will switch out characters, you know, to try to get everybody into the battle, but I don't bother with this guy. He's that freaking annoying. Um, also he's immune to, like, everything. You can do um, a mental break to him if you want to end up using Lulu and, with her spells or whatever, but like, I don't. <laughs> uh, I don't bother. Um, we're just going to do some overdrives and stay in the triangle formation. Just be patient and hopefully we will win. But I might get some game overs on this guy. We'll see. Hopefully not. Maybe I can do it right the first time. Find out. Find out together. Oh, not enough to be petty with her. Okay. All right. So we're gonna all get everybody. Have uh, Luna. He's probably gonna attack Orin 
will protect on Earth. Now he's berserk tailing Titus. When now Titus is, that's not good. I wanted to provoke and do some triggers. Okay, well, let's still do the protect on the protect on Tardus. There we go. Let's keep her on Orin. We're just gonna try to keep everybody healed up. Oh, and Titus is done. Good job. Yay, Katie! Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Was that Katie? Looks like it was Katie. Yeah, thank you so much, Katie. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, so let's get this. Let's get Titus back up. And we're gonna use some Aeons. Let's Grand Summon our favorite, Luffy. So the way some of those, um, some of those require bits. So Katie is spending, spent 10 cents, I think, to do that. And if you mouse over the stream itself, like the screen, then you should see the sound alert panel there that'll let you do the bits ones. Ah, <laughs> oh, Katie, I appreciate that. <laughs> I totally just went on the sound alerts platform and just searched for my name to see what would be there. Now, a lot of it, of course, was like Karen memes, you know, things like that. But I found that one and I was like, oh, I can add that to the stream. Um, because most of them were like, you know, complaining and stuff, and I was like, uh, it's not really my vibe. I don't really want to do all that, so. Oh, he missed. Wow. Don't worry, Jane. This will probably not be the only boss battle we do today. So you will have another chance. And we might not make it through this one, so we'll see. Alright, what do I want to do now? Half health now. Gross. Oh, please don't get Yuna with the Berserk. Thank God. Alright, so let's first fill her up. And let's call another A on it. Do I want him to go again before I call another A on? I think let's be patient. Let's be get Titus back to life. Oh, don't kill her, please. Ah, damn it. can wreck you really easily. His Berserk just makes it so all you can do is attack. Alright, so now we gotta Phoenix down her. Could have called the Aeon. Shoulda, shoulda, shoulda. Instead of trying to revive Titan. But I did not! Alright, let's. Then we'll call it Aeon. Yeah, I mean, it's towards the end of the game, so of course they're hard. And I really have not spent a lot of time grinding, you know, because I want to keep this entertaining, right? So we had some episodes where we did some grinding, right? But overall, I really did not do much. So I'm like really right at the level that the game expects you to be, which means that the end is actually a little bit challenging. <laughs> 
They do, right? Like, we've grown so much. It's insane. Good. Don't kill her now. Don't kill her. Thank God I can do the overdrive. Here we go. Yeah, the more you the more you go in this game, like the more badass it gets. <laughs> yeah, this one is so Sailor Moon. Okay, so those mines didn't explode. Which I find very interesting. I thought they would. Okay, I hope I have a turn before he goes again. I'm gonna set more. Okay, but I'm not there. <gasps> okay, wonderful. Alright, so here we go. We are going to... X down on Orin. Let's Kaga on uh, Okay, so the boss will get to go once. Alright, alright. Oh, and you couldn't berserk him. Oh, lucky, lucky. Alright. Cure herself. Only got 2,000 HP. Oh, we can almost kill him. Oh, we're so close. Oh, welcome, Ivy. We appreciate all of our lurkers here, so thank you for coming to the stream and also lurking. Um, really appreciate that. Okay. Let's bring out Cuddle. Almost dead, y'all. So hopefully this will. Boom! I can't believe I beat that guy without getting a single game. I got really lucky. He did not, like, there's been times where I fought him and then you get all berserked, and because everybody's berserked and all they can do is attack, then they, they end up dying to other things. Hell yeah! Good progress. It did. It also probably you felt like it owed me. Oh, here. oh, wait for the cutscene. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Go. Yes. Yeah, the game probably felt like it owed me because I had to fight Seymour three freaking times. Um, so that's probably what happened. Right there. Alright, Rainbow. Very appropriate. For June. For Pride Month. Happy Pride, by the way! <gasps> what do you mean, no final Aeon? Sir Oren! Uh-oh. Everyone! Okay, let's do Sphere Grid and save. Looks like 
We have some more bad news from Unaleska about how the final Aeon works. statue. That statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. Oh, we remember who what Lord Zeon is. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Is he Aleska's husband? Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean... There is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. The Summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the Lady awaits. Una, wait! Aaron, you knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? The point? You know. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. <gasps> Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. There she is. Welcome to Xanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> there must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner. For that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. Remember, Seymour wanted to For do this with her. once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know? Don't do this, Jekt. If you live, 
There may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Yeah. Believe me, I thought this through. Young Orin is so hopeful. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Checked? What? You're not gonna try to stop me too? Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Jack is like in his mid-20s here, by the way. Still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh, well, let's go. Lord Braska, checked. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm every time. The cycle will continue, and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> and the cycle went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? If one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But I want everything! Now you're being childish! I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what... Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of... something? Yes. I'll go ask Unaleska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. Right, because being hopeful isn't childish. I do, with no regrets. We kept two of them, Thumper. Go check some pictures in the um, media thread or the media channel in Discord. I'll give you some more details after this cutscene. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. 
Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. Never ending? But, but, if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this, this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! Like the most... It's been our only hope all these years! This is the most passion Lulu hope shows. That line, I just love the way comforting. that the voice actors do it. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope. And right on his head. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted... to make Spiro's sorrow go away, not just cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday I will conquer it. And I will do it without false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose! Die and be free of pain! Or live and fight your sorrow! Now is the time to shape your stories! Your fate is in your hands! Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting! I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ha! Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. It is intense, Jane. Intense. We're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Oh my gosh. Okay, she has a whole bunch of phases. She's gonna make us zombies. It's awful. Um, we're just gonna try to chip her down and uh, and not die. She will also dispel basically anything you do. So it is. 
super freaking pointless to, um, you know, even try to do any of that. So, okay. And also, as you saw, Titus attacked her and she immediately cast darkness on him. Um, so she does those kind of counters too. She is a bitch. The mean lady. So, um, let's see how we can get through this. <laughs> Hopefully, I am able to. We'll find out. I feel like there's no reason, there's no point in buffing, um, at all. You know? <laughs> you shouldn't even use your overdrives yet because she has three different, um, three different, uh, phases. You should wait for the third phase to use them. Alright, so we're gonna switch her out, bring her in, we're gonna keep Riku as our little hasted, um, pocket healer. That's, uh, eye drops. And that absorb thing takes half of their HP. Not half of their current HP, half of their total HP. So after she casts it on someone, half to heal them, but she'll cast it again, and then they will die. So, that's how that goes. We're just gonna kind of chip her down during this phase, you know, try to kind of do it like that. All right, let's get some other people in here so we can get some attacks in. <clears throat> Good job blinding it. Thanks. Get some eye drops. That little thing she just did, that's the thing that takes away all their buffs. So if they have any buffs, then they won't anymore after that. <clears throat> right now, we're just high drops and attacking. I know it's kind of boring, but that way we won't die. Alright, let's bring in Nina and heal up Kim. He always does the absorb um, one on whoever has the most total HP. He can hit harder. <laughs> so yeah, we're um we're gonna kill Unalesco. We're gonna not continue with this tradition, and um then I guess we'll have to figure out what to do about Sin. Dude, that's right, he was. Good. It was a waste of it. Okay, we're tipping her down. All right, so Thumper, more about the kitty cats. Um, we uh, we found homes for all the kittens. We're keeping two of them. We're keeping Oreo, and we're keeping, um, Dragon. Oreo's keeping his- her- her name. Um, Jeff wants to keep it as Oreo. And, uh, and Dragon is now named Lady Vox. And those are the ones we're keeping. Um, we unfortunately could not find homes for Coke and CJ. It just wasn't, you know, it wasn't in the cards for that. So, um, we got them over to the shelter. And they're actually, because they're feral cats, you know, they never really had an owner. They said they had to quarantine them, so they're in quarantine now. They're going to get some medical treatment, get spayed, and since it is kitten season, most likely they will end up getting just released back out after they get spayed, because um, the shelter probably won't have them. 
Uh, which is fine. I mean, they are feral cats, so they'll probably be happier outside, is the reality. But at least they're gonna get some medical treatment and get spayed, which was, you know, the whole reason why we let them stay in the house in the first place, because we thought, like, wow, you know, let's get that for them. But then, of course, they had kittens, and that whole thing never happened, because we got COVID. <laughs> so, don't worry as far as missing the kitten streams goes, because, as you know, the VODs always exist. So we will always have those kitten streams to go back on at any time. If you ever want to see the kittens again, those bosses. I know. But if you ever really are Jones in to see the kittens, watch the um the Pets 5 stream that I did, because then you get the big kitten cam. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda sad to let them go. But I was getting super overwhelmed. Um, with that many cats. Even though we had two litter boxes in there, I was still cleaning it like four times a day to keep up with the amount. <laughs> uh, it, they, the last week that they were here, they went through an entire bag of cat food in six days. Um, like it was just getting way too expensive. Like we couldn't, we couldn't handle it. You know. I have to say, after this experience, as fun as a lot of parts of it were, I don't think I will ever voluntarily um, foster kittens. <laughs> uh, they were awesome. But, um, yeah. Oh no, I should have called an Aeon. I think she's going to do this thing. Oh no, I think maybe that's the next phase. Oh, please don't let this be in between phase one and two. Okay, good, good, good. It's in between phase three, but she does the awful thing. Okie dokie, so now she can zombify my people in addition to everything that she did before. <laughs> so we need to do that. That's right. It's a tentacle heart. So, you know, she got even sexier. <clears throat> All right, let's holy water. Oh, he has darkness. Oh, he should, I should have used it. Thanks for reckoning me. I don't have zombie anymore. It's fine. All right, how much HP does she have? She has 48. So we are going to start using our summons. Let's summon kisses. <clears throat> the first phase is not too bad just very annoying, but these next phases can actually get kind of difficult. We're just going to try to hurt her as much as we can. That sh I wish that would have. Oh, that should have filled up my. I have to do diamond vest. But... gonna kill me with that so I don't get the diamond dust. Bad. Oh well. This is it a lot of damage.
Red and Kennedy. Orange. Or she held by this. And we got it. This Titus and Orin again. Okay. Loverly. Get an extra. Yes. Wonderful. Alright. Blue water on Orin. Dead potion. Everyone is all healed. And uh, thank you for the lurk, Jane. Appreciate it. Love all of our lurkers. Oh, he must still have darkness. He's not zombified and dragged into of that auto med of uh, that auto med. If you do have um, holy per unit at this point, it can do a lot of damage. But I do not currently have that. Haha! <laughs> Thanks for curing me, Lady Unaleska. That was real nice of you. Alright, let's switch back to you. Wait, wait. Now when she switches into the next phase, which she's going to do, um, you can either leave somebody with zombification to survive, or you can sacrifice an A. I'm going to try to time it so that we sacrifice an Aeon. We'll see what happens. Aw, removed her. That was rude. <laughs> Loud boops. Oh, the tentacles go. Great! Back here. Yeah. 
And if at the start of the Xanarchand you don't have a lot of holy waters, you can go back out to the dome area that we, the path that we walked around, and um, and steal a bunch using Reap. I didn't say I was doing, but I was I was doing that when we were there before. Oh no, they zombified Yuna too. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna summon. We're gonna summon petals. See if we can get that six thousand down. If we don't, it's okay because our people are zombies. So it'll be all right. He's immune. <laughs> oh yeah, everything in Final Fantasy games is so beautiful. Alright, phase three, y'all. Can we do it? Let's find out. He is now a whole ass Medusa. Megadeth, literally, if you're not a zombie, it will just straight up kill you. Like, it's gonna kill Cuddles right here. He's gonna be gone. Oh wait, no, he's immune. Oh, he's immune to Megadeth. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well, he's gonna die soon. <laughs> and she has this Mind Blast now, too. Which is great. It gives you, um... Looks like it cursed him. Anyways. So now, she can... She'll do the Megadeth again if you let her live long enough after this. So now the goal is just to kill her as fast as possible. That's why I didn't use my overdrives or anything. Um, because we're gonna bust them all out now and try to just kill her ASA. Okay, that's like that. Bye, Cuddle. Get to be pro, Bridey. You do this right, you can use their overdrives. Like, I have done it before. Not impossible. All right, we're gonna bust out some other overdrives, though. Let's see. Oh, she doesn't like. She's not immune to like everything, so it's like. I guess we'll do double grenades. Just water yourself type. Out first. Undog. Spin, 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 spin. I got seven that time. I usually get six. That was nice.
<laughs> that was dumb. Aw, oh, thank you for the hydrate, Thumper. This is a Go. Everybody got Like mind block. Alright. Another second, I get death, yeah. So we'll see. You should always mind blast the AI. them like extra party now. I hate when she osmoses them, stealing all my MP. There he goes. Bye, Fluffy. to get caught in that mega death, you know. You get caught with it with no zombies in your party? 
We're like done. Are we winning? Right now we are, but I don't want to jinx it. We're on phase three, Jane, so we're we're doing pretty good. Um we're getting her down. Busted out all of our overdrives. Now we're trying to kill her as much as we can with Aeon. Bye, Snuggles. I also kind of like poetically using the Aeons against Unaleska. Yeah. Alright, okay. Yeah, just Valifor. Alright, Valifor, take it home. <laughs> yeah, he is very colorful. Get her. Didn't get game overs on the Spectre Keeper or on the last Thank you, thank you. Now what are we gonna do? We have to deal with Sin with no final Aeon. <sighs> if I die. So does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope! Fool. There is no other way. I'm gonna go pee all this cutscene's playing. I'll be right back. Even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the Immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, oh, Zeon. Forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. about that. I really had to pee. Oh, oh and everybody got a sphere level. That's one. Alright. Bye, Unaleska. Doing your crappy traditions. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy Sin. So yeah. it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet. But I'll find out. Well, if the final Aeon becomes Sin, then if we defeat him without the final Aeon, then, well, we would defeat him for real. Alright, so I did that so that chest would spawn so I could get the Suncrest, 
and um, this is the end. There's no, there's no further. Like this doesn't go anywhere. It just kind of loops you back around. So we have to backtrack. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. <sighs> I know. It's about you, right? I am also an unsent. You are not surprised. I think... I kind of knew. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? This had pretty when Braska hard. and Jekt died defeating Sin, I just couldn't accept it. I came back here, tried to avenge them. But she struck me down. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazet. But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. I've been wandering ever since, never going to the far plane. Arin. Don't make that face. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And... You've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. <sighs> My memories. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh... Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. My son, in Xanarkand, he's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care of him, will you? But how am I supposed to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about you. That is why. But let's save again. <laughs> Going. Exit. Thumper, if you're here, speak up. I've got something for you. Why oh, kick? With the curtain, the lights behind me. <laughs> Climbing it. They're gonna take a minute. It's in. Oh my gosh. Dad? I know. The final summoning's gone. But I'll think of something. Just give me a little more time. The airship. back for us, y'all. 
，来。Aren't we the happy-looking bunch? Frana! Frana! Where? Where? That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? Well? Any good ideas? Come on, help us! What do we know? Sin is jet. Thus you have a link, a bond with Sin. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think, and we wait. The answers will come if you think Two about things it. I'm bad at. Did she survive though? Very melancholy. All right. See how everybody's doing. We need to sit and think this through. There has to be a way. We'll wait till you think of a plan. Get that noggin working. Okay. Yeah, they're in an airship, so we can fly around now. Rush this, and we'll lose everything. We need to plan carefully. And now we can go basically anywhere we want to. Right now, we're just going to kind of you? see what's going on on the ship. Got a lot of blank weapons and. Thank you. You're welcome. Items. Yo, I'm really surprised that we got this far and that we didn't have to, um... Thank you. We Your didn't get any game overs on either of those bosses. <laughs> I really thought we were going to, so like I just thought, like, oh, this seems really gonna run long, so I'm gonna get some game overs or whatever. But we didn't. Like, I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. I wonder where will the airship go from here? Are you a traitor? No, then you are with the Albed. I long for the sands of Bee Canal Desert. Um, but there's no place like Lord Mike the Lord Micah unsent, but I saw him in Luca. Yeah, he's unsent, my friend. I must train and the airship will rob me of my muscles. Oh. <laughs> you haven't found the place of our home, perhaps we were followed.
go talk to the running guy. There we go. That was the first time being so close to sin. Yeah, it didn't attack, which is... Things here belong to Ma Master Rin. They are not ours to take. Oh, cargo. We don't know how Sin will react. I finally have figured out how it is that these gyps move. Oh, that's cool. We left the kids on the ground safer for them. Yeah, you're probably right. Not be flying through the sky with Sin around the kids. The sin I saw was in the ruins, was calm. Who is this? Was calm. But this ship, revenge against the followers of Yevon, will be ours. I don't know about revenge, kind of want to save everybody. I'm no good. At all. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. You not no apologies. But... Apology is running. You not never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevon's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides? Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kamari, you rock! <laughs> right. Where do we think Mike would be? Probably in the. That about that. I was going the right way. Back this way. had a great idea it was my idea let me <laughs> tell them look it's at them like getting along young. i just thought the hymn's the key ah! <laughs> the hymn sir jack likes the hymn of the faith correct yeah that's why he was listening to it in makalania sin Violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's your old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, 
Might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Oh, Waka yeah. wanting to break rules? Yeah, it could really work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. To send to open the nav map, pick a destination, and you're there. Well, well let's that try. That sounds it. like a plan to me. Our baby here will take us anywhere we want. Yeah, of course, Jane. Never not kiss. Okay, so the way that this works is you get a list, and this is all the places that we've been, right? You can also input uh, things based on some of those riddles that we saw at the very beginning of the game. Um, I know. Or you can search just by like doing this around with coordinates, right? So, what is it? Okay. Let's go ahead and go to High Bridge. Here we go. That's where the next bit's gonna happen. And we are gonna go ahead and save right here. battery on my earbuds running out. Let me switch to the other one. All right. <clears throat> yes, I know. Battery is low. There we go. Now you can try. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and save right there. That's what we're going to pick up next time. We're going to see some stuff at the high bridge and um, we're going to start on on side quests so we've really not done any side quests i've skipped all of them even though there were some that we could have done before we got to the end of the game but i wanted to just play the main story through you know what i mean so that y'all could see all that and so that i wasn't like over leveled or anything so we're going to go ahead and stop right there and we're going to switch over to some pokemon meme so bye final fantasy Photoshop. Alrighty, y'all. The chat. Oh, sorry. I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. All right. Pokemon time. Uh, the kittens want back in. Hang on. Okay, for real now, Pokemon time. All right. We are going to do mostly um, Gen 7 Pokemon this time. But we are going to start actually with looking at the um, Gen 4 Legendary. Legendary Pokemon. Alright, so in Gen 4, the legendaries that we have are Azelf, Mesprit, and Uxi, these guys, the late guardians. We've also got the creation trio, so that's Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. And then we've got um, Cresselia, we've got Heatran, and we've got Regigigas. So my favorites of those is Cresselia. I love her design, what she looks like. I think she's just really beautiful. She's very pink. Um, you know, that hits all of my. Uh, aesthetic. All right. Shiny particles are released from its wings like a veil. It is said to represent the crescent moon. On nights around the quarter moon, the aura from its tail extends, undulates. It is, right? Okay. So if I go down to my legends, I'm going to go right here. Generation 4. All right. Next, we're going to look at the legendaries for Generation um, 7. So. Actually, let me scroll back up and click. Do y'all see that on camera when they climb up and get the... Okay. So, Generation 7, the legendaries, we have Null and um, Sil Silvarily, I think is how you say that. We also have um, the Guardian deities here. So that's like um, uh, Tapu Fini and those ones. We also have Cosmog and Cosmo M. 
And then we have the light trio, which is Solego, Lunala, and Necro Necrozma, I think is how you say it. No, no one has guided the raid yet, Thumper. If you have someone you want to raid, do the guide the raid and we will do that. So my fav my legendary that I like to put in for the generation seven slot is Osmog, right here, this little guy. This little rainbowy cloud. So Okay. Its body is gaseous and frail. It slowly grows as it collects dust from the atmosphere. In ages past, it was called the Child of the Stars. It is said to be a Pokemon from another world, but no specific detail. Charmy. Okay, sure, we can raid Charmy. All right, so that's what I put here. But my favorite legendary of all is actually in this generation. And um, when we were scrolling through them, y'all probably guessed it is... Lunala. I love these like moon themed Pokemon, right? And I love Lunala. I think it's just gorgeous. So let's read about it. It's said to be a female evolution of Cosmog. When its third eye activates, away it flies to another world. Said to live in another world, this Pokemon devours light, drawing the moonless dark veil of night over the brightness of day. So, right here, that's going to go in my favorite slot. All right, let's look at a couple of um, Gen 7 Pokemon. So we're going to look at the Gen 7s. There we go. So we're going to look at uh, the Gen 7 water type. So I have to tell you about something that I did on here. I accidentally put um, this guy right here in the water types before he was supposed to go in the fairy types. Um, so I have a different one for water types for Gen 7. So we're actually going to go take a look at those. Oh, wait, this Gen right here. Let's do the dex number. Step it. Okay. <laughs> so you can see pre marina that I accidentally put here, but it really goes in the fairy slot. So we've also got um, Wishy Washy, we've got Marnie, we've got Dewpider, Wormapod, and Pukumuku, um, and Bruxish. So the one that I like to put in the water slot, since we're already using some of these, like we're already using Bruxish in the Psychic one and we're already using Primarina in Fairy, is we are going to put Toxapex in the water slot. So this is what Toxapex looks like right here. So let's read about him. Scroll down too far. There we go. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Those attacked by Toxapex's poison will suffer intense pain for three days and three nights. Post-recovery, there will be some after effects. So pretty dangerous little Pokemon there. All right, so that is my Gen 7 water type right there. We're going to also look at some Gen 7 grass types. Thumper, are you watching? Speak up if you're watching. I've got something for you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe... <laughs> I think you were away when I showed the kittens just a little bit ago. All right, so grass types for this gen, we've got Rollet Line, we've got um, Lurantis, uh, Morlul Line, Bon Sweet Line, Del and Del Missy. Oh, here, okay. Then I have something for you. Hi, Thumper. My name is Oreo. Jeff picked me out to keep. So I'm staying here. Meow. Hi. I'm going to go destroy Karen's curtain more now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no worries. When I watch, um, when I watch uh, Twitch, I do the same thing. And then the streamers that I really like, I'll go back and watch the VOD, you know, if I really want to see the whole thing. All right, so my favorite here is uh, Laurentis. I love the design of this one. I also love the Bon Sweet line, but Laurentis trumps it just a little bit. <laughs> they grew. They grew, Thumper. They're really still very small. Um, they still fit in my lap. Okay. It requires a lot of effort to maintain Laurentis's vivid coloring, but some collectors enjoy this work and treat it as their hobby. It fires beams from its sickle-shaped petals. These beams are powerful enough to cleave through thick metal plates. So that goes right here in the grass plot. All right. So that's Pokemon for this time. We'll do more Pokemon, of course, next week. 
All right, let's actually talk about next week. Next week, we're going to be doing more Final Fantasy X. So we're going to, we have a little bit more um, story to do. You know, they had T's going and talking to Micah, right? And then we're going to be doing some side quests. So we're going to go uh, work on getting the celestial weapons and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, and then on Saturday, we are going to do the first of a new type of interstage window episode. We are going to be starting doing episodes usually around the first Saturday of the, day of the month. There's going to be at least one every month, but probably the first Saturday of the month going forward. And they're going to be media related. So the first one that we're going to do is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, because that's very easy for me and Landon to both talk about. So if you're interested in hearing some opinions on a uh, retrospective of the first Harry Potter book, because we both reread it, you know, to see kind of how it landed now in 2021, uh, show up for that. It's going to be a good time. That's going to be on Saturday Interstage Window at noon Eastern time. And yes, you can find me on all of my different socials. Thank you so much, Jane, for my exclamation socials. And yes, Thumper side quests. That will be really fun. All right. So y'all know where to find me. You can find me right here on Twitch on Saturdays and Thursdays. Uh, Saturday is at noon. Thursdays is at 630. All times are Eastern. I also have a YouTube channel and uh, all of my VODs go up on there as well as Spare Room, which is an every other Wednesday show about role-playing advice and things of that nature. All right. Yes, exactly. I'm very excited too. Okay, Thumper wants to raid. All the cats destroy my back. <laughs> uh, cats are lucky there. Let me actually open them up. I just want to get past the ad, make sure they're not on a be right back or something. <laughs> Let's see. Charmy is a nocturnal bean who does art things. I love to draw and I'm an advocate for art talks and mental health. Oh, wonderful. Oh, she, wow. She, they, I'm not sure. I, there's, there's no camp. Um, very talented. Okay, here we go. All right, y'all have fun. We're going to go watch an art stream. It looks really good. Um, I really like what I see that they've got up on the screen right here. Uh, so, so that'll sweet. be fun. All right, <laughs> bye, y'all. See you You're on sweet. Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. All right.